Thank you for tuning in to today's edition of Mido and You. My name is Angela Manabat and these are my beautiful co-hosts, Christian Tan and Sarah Kratzer. Today we'll be discussing one of the most galvanizing conditions known to humanity, MRF, myoclonic epilepsy and ragged red fiber disease. We will be diving into Lucy Newtad's story, who is experiencing this condition firsthand. This is Lucy. Lucy is suffering from sporadic seizures. Muscle twitching and weakness. And difficulty remembering simple tasks and how to do them. She decides to talk to her doctor. Lucy told her doctor about her muscle twitches, weakness, and seizures because they affected her daily life the most. The doctor sent Lucy to a neurologist. The doctor sent Lucy to a neurologist to test for Parkinson's. Then Lucy told her doctor about the memory loss and impaired mental function. She scheduled an MRI and a PET scan to test for dementia. The results came back negative. Lucy, you don't have dementia. In the end, Lucy's doctor sent her home with an anticonvulsive medication to control her muscle spasms. However, after a few days, Lucy found she could not walk up her stairs without getting out of breath or calling her husband for help. She went back to her doctor. The doctor made a decision. She would give Lucy a muscle biopsy. The results indicated the presence of ragged red fibers in her muscle tissue. This finding and Lucy's symptoms could only mean one thing. Have MRF. But what is MRF? To answer your question, Lucy, MRF is a progressive multi system syndrome that affects the central nervous system, skeletal muscles, and other high energy body systems. The causes of MRF are purely genetic. In other words, external factors have no effect. Exactly. Mutations in the MT to TK mitochondrial gene are the cause for 80 to 90% of the cases in the world. These type of mutations impair mitochondrial ability to make proteins, use oxygen, and even produce energy. Energy, yes. And precise methods of gene mapping have helped scientists to identify these genes and thus aid in diagnosis. In addition, brain imaging techniques and clinical tests are supplemental in identifying MRF. Genetic counseling is also an option because MRF is inherited from the mother, so the mother's DNA can be analyzed to determine if she had a gene for the disease that she passed on to her offspring. That's true, but a muscle biopsy is still definitely the most definitive test. Yes, because you can identify the ragged red fibers. As we touched on before, MRF is a sex-linked disease inherited from the mother. Doesn't that mean it's on the X chromosome? Yes, it does. It's also important to remember that the genetic defects caused by MRF are found exclusively in mitochondrial DNA because this is the only DNA that is passed only from a mother to her offspring. Family planning is also heavily impacted by MRF diagnosis because since there is no known cure, treatments become continual and very expensive. Surprisingly, MRF is diagnosed in about one in every 5,000 people. That sounds like a lot. It does. No specific race or gender is more likely to have MRF than any other. Okay. While there is no set cure for MRF, there are a variety of treatments. Anticonvulsant drugs help prevent and control seizure. Levetiracetam is effective in controlling myoclonus. Standard pharmacological therapy is useful for cardiac symptoms. And aerobic exercise and physical therapy is always beneficial. Due to these treatments and effects to the body, it is difficult for the effective individual to undertake physical activities requiring precision and other moderate to intense exercises. Thank you for tuning in to today's segment on MRF. Join us tomorrow at 8 a.m. for another exciting edition of My and You.
Lucy told her doctor about the terrible. memory loss and impaired mental. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What is Murph? What is Murph? <laughs> 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 